Hi everybody and welcome to another video. Last month I went to Japan, uh, Tokyo, and one of the highlights on my trip there was visiting the Nikon Museum and um, it's the 100th anniversary of Nikon this year. The company was uh, founded in 1917. It was then called Nippon Kokuku and uh, they basically dealt with optics, uh, no cameras at all at that time. So I visited the museum as well as other things while I was there and um, I'm going to show you some things that I brought back from the museum uh, which I hope interests you. Uh, and you might say, well why are you showing this Nikon F with that nice big fat 20mm f3.5 UD lens um, well basically because it's better than you're looking at my mutt and secondly because it is linked to my visit to the museum because after going around the museum and uh, purchasing a few goods I um, went to a camera store with some of my friends there one of them is uh, Richard Hall and uh, he has a um, video channel on YouTube which I'll give you a link to in the uh, description. He also has a, a great blog uh, again I'll try and get the link and put that on for you as well and he deals a lot with um, camera repairs and lens maintenance and stuff like that uh, and he's a really great guy makes me laugh um, so I met up with him and um, went to this camera store and I found this lens and um, quite a decent price uh, you can't get them over here for anywhere near that price and this one is a, a factory AI converted version which uh, makes it a bit more special and it's a great looking lens, I've also got the hood for it which I didn't buy at the same time actually it did, it, I brought this separately off eBay, the hood, but it really makes it look a uh, awesome combination, especially something like this Nikon F, the plain prism, uh, but I can use this lens with it being AI, I can use it obviously on basically all my film cameras and uh, my DF as well, and it's a great lens, it uh, actually works best stop down up to, at about f5.6 and say it doesn't start till 3.5 so it just shows you how sharp this lens is and uh, with very little distortion as well so that's that but now as obviously like I said I'm going to show you some of the stuff well, probably all the stuff I brought back from the museum just move that out of the way oh let me just show you so with the hood off uh, you can fit the cap and it comes with this beautiful metal cap and uh, this is a later version of this lens the original version came with a um, like a, a, a chrome uh, cap whereas this one's black and chrome but it's all metal and it screws on to the front so uh, just another nice thing about that lens alright I've got this bag from the museum uh, with all my goods in, I can't show you to it, it's got a Nikon emblem on and it's quite strange actually because you look at the um, you look at the things in a, a glass cabinet and uh, they're all on display in this glass cabinet and you pick out what you want to purchase at the museum and you have to pay cash by the way but you go to like this vending machine and select the items you want and at the end you put your cash in and then the, the people behind the counter uh, put all your goods together and bring them out to you, it's, it's very strange so first of all, this is the first thing I've just pulled out of the bag this is one of my, my favourites uh, it's a special Nikon 100th anniversary clock and um, it uses a proper F mount for the dial as such and I have this showing 
the time in Tokyo, uh, which I thought was quite apt. So right now it's nearly nine o'clock here. It's nearly five p.m. in uh, Tokyo or Japan. That's very nice. That's a wooden clock, and I say I have that on display on my camera display shelves permanently. In a little box with some little leaflets, which I can't tell you what it says. It came with a battery and all. That's one item. Now the next one is not actually undone yet. Uh, you can get this from the museum. I actually got this from the service centre, which is in Shinjuku. Uh, but you can get it from the museum as well. And it's a Nana Block Nikon F. So basically you build it up, it's, it's like Lego basically. And uh, I was told it's 6,000 pieces, something like that, I can't remember now exactly. But it takes, uh, the record of building it up is about 6 hours. So that's going to be a challenge when I have a go like that, I'm sure. Uh, next thing out is this. And uh, remember a lot of these with the 100th anniversary emblem on are obviously limited edition as such because they only make them this year. And this is a little Paceplex uh, plaque and I was told it was of, of the uh, Nikon DF. Obviously uh, I've got the, the stand and again it's got a F mount and it's supposed to represent a Nikon DF. Now whether it's meant to be a prototype of the uh, DF I'm not sure because obviously this area isn't the same as the production model. That's a nice little thing as well. And just to mention about prototypes, I was lucky that they only a few weeks before they had started displaying the early film prototype cameras in the museum and I saw like the Nikon F F2, F3, F4 prototypes, which is very interesting. So that's a nice little black, which I don't think I've put in right. I'll do it later on. Next. Well, again, I think I've got, got this actually from the service centre, and hopefully it's a lot easier to make up than the nanoblock. <laughs> it's a Nikon F paper craft. Um, unfortunately, obviously in uh, Japanese instructions, but I, sh I don't think I'm going to have a problem doing that. But I do intend making that up as well. Something nice to do. And I also have this. Well, I'll show you when I open it. In fact, it says it there actually a pin badge, but it comes in this nice, like focusing screen type accessory box, which is nice. And we've actually got a bit of name of PBDF. Pin badge DF because it's what this one represents. You can get different ones as well. Uh, so you get into this. And it comes in the proper like a uh, focusing screen type case thing, and uh, that's the badge. And I'll pull it out of the phone. You get the idea. Nice little pin badge. That's that one. And what's next? Ah, oh. this is nice. And a um, history of Nikon <clears throat> playing cards, which again, um, I'm not sure if these are just for this year because they do represent the 100th anniversary. But they'll probably keep selling these. Comes in a nice little case, and you've got all the cards, and the cards have. Uh, the different cameras, right from the first one, the first camera in 1948, the Nikon 1. They have all the cameras on all the different cards going up. That's the last one actually, oh, there's a Nikon F5. The special anniversary F5 there, and the last one. Oh, they're the Jokers, Nikon F2 Titan. Uh, the last one is actually King of Arts is the D750, the D4 look, DF. That's uh, nice to have, nice uh, history of Nikon. I'm back. Oh, so we've got 
Um, oh, this is something they gave me free for buying a few things. A Nikon 100th anniversary keyring, which uh, I guess is uh, not them going to be produced. I can also get another little bag, I think which came with the stuff from the service centre. And they gave me some plastic bags as well. Um, with Nikon 100th anniversary on. Now, the last thing is this, which is the most unique thing I would say. It's they only produced 99 of these. Uh, mine's number 75 of 99. I think this was actually the most expensive item I brought. Museum, and this is a wooden block uh, with a stand, and again, it's got the F mount on. As you can see, that's very nice, nice piece of wood with uh, a it says here, like a reproduction of the 1959 Nikon F mount. In 2016, the longest used propriety bayonet type lens mounting system for 35mm format SLR cameras in the world. Uh, I spoke to somebody there actually at the museum and they said they have one that, and they've had this cut out, had the whole kind of dremeled out, I suppose, uh, so you can actually mount a lens on it. So when, it, when you stand it up, um, it's mounted with a lens, which uh, would look nice. And then you've got a little stand at the back that just slots in there and that's it, stand up. Number 75 of 99. So that's everything I brought from the museum while I was there. Uh, I brought a few other things, an FD camera and um, a Nikon rangefinder light meter. Um, the other thing I just want to mention is, during my time there, I actually clocked up my 1,000th subscriber. So thank you for that all of you for, my, for your support and I'd like the 1000 subscriber to contact me I'm gonna uh, message him on his uh, page and get him to contact me and uh, I'm gonna send him just a little something to say thank you and uh, just to show that he is the 1000 subscriber so there you go just thought I'd show you those few things Great time in Japan. Uh, obviously, for, if you like cameras and that, it's uh, a marvellous place. And they've got some amazing stuff, amazing camera stores. And uh, again, it was great to have Richard uh, show me around. It's very kind of him. Great guy. Okay, there you go. Hope you've enjoyed this little video and uh, hope to catch you soon.